All right, all right. So here we go. I'm getting a bunch of tweets, a bunch of emails, a bunch of Facebook, all this social media crap about what you've been saying. Stop, KT. See, I ain't even bother watching your promo. And the guys at Beyond emailed me, try to get me to understand your situation and whatnot. Here it goes, man. To be honest with you, as people are liking my Instagram photos, you know. The bottom line is, man, I don't care what your situation is. I'm getting paid to fight at the next Beyond show. I got paid to fight when I was there before. You see, you got wrestlers, you got sports entertainers, and I'm not knocking what y'all do. But there ain't nobody like me. See, I'm a fighter. I know no other way. If I'm not wrestling, I'm probably boxing. If I'm not boxing, I'm probably doing something that won't the street. <laughs> Either way, I'm getting my hands bloody and my knuckling up. You feel me? I did get a little backstory. So now I'm going to give y'all, the fans here, a little backstory about me and Stock. Me and Stock, uh, you say we're cool. I don't have a lot of friends, you know. We're, we're cool with each other. Met him years ago, saw a lot of fire in his eyes, a lot of passion. And uh, I told him straight up, I said, Stock, man, you look like me when I first started. All happy and ready to go, ready to do whatever I want, you know, in this sport. Just looking forward to just getting in the ring, baby. But then sooner or later you start realizing, and I warned you about this, you start realizing about promoters and bookers and politicians <laughs> and fans. You see, it took me a while to understand fans are going to say what they want to say, and they're going to do what they want to do. A lot of fans don't have the heart to step in the ring, so what do they do? They criticize. Hey, God bless you. Do what you got to do. I'm going to do me at the end of the day, partner. But it seems like you didn't take my advice, and you're letting promoters, bookers, politicians, and fans get to you. I can't respect that, man. After I go out of my way to give you advice when I don't give nobody advice. Ask all the locker rooms I've been in. Young guys come up to me and ask me, did you see my match? Hey, you have any advice for me? And I'm like, nope. Why do I want you to get better so you become better than me? You know what I mean? Let's think here. That's, that's the mental. That's the old school way of things the way I learned. So stock, you didn't listen, now you're bitching, you're moaning, and all this, and that, and that, and that, tree mon, and this, and that. Look, bro, life ain't fair, man. Life is cold, bundle up, homie. Like I tell a million people, my father told me that at eight years old. That messes with your head. So, uh, I don't know when I'm recording this, man, it's kind of late. I'm kind of half asleep. People woke me up. You know what I mean? Why? Why? I should have just turned off my phone. But uh, I believe it's Saturday. It's me and you. So before I email this to Beyond, their management and whatnot, before I email it to them, I just want you to know something real simple. All that bitching and moaning, you better put it to the side. Because when I go there, I'm going to win. I'm going to punch you in your mouth repeatedly back fist you suplex you I don't care if we're in the crowd if we're up on the balcony they got there if we're behind the bar wherever you want to go because the stockade I knew is dead and gone and I already fought that one let's see about this new one see what he got I am Eddie Kingston I have a lot of nicknames because I earned them all no writer gave it to me. But the one thing you need to remember about me is I'm a fighter. <laughs>